Okay, so if you're following my YouTube channel, then you know that I am doing a lecture series for Integral Calculus. And uh, this is the second installment of my lecture for basic integration formulas. And on this video, I'll be sharing with you some integrals leading to an ln function. Okay, so we shall recall that the derivative of ln u is equal to du over u. And since you know that differentiation and integration are inverse operation of one another, then we can say that the integral of du over u equals ln u plus. C. So again, in this video, I'll be showing you some illustration and examples on how this formula is being used. Say we have the integral of dx over x, so we can clearly say that since, du, since the integral of du over u is equal to ln u plus c, then we say that the integral of dx over x equals ln x plus c. Another one, say we have integral of dx over 2x, what you notice is that I have a constant one half here and then you can just throw it out, okay? And then, so we have in one half integral of dx over x. And we know that the integral of dx over x from the result of our first example is equal to ln x plus c. Then finally, we have one half times ln x plus c. Another modification of this example is we have integral of 3 dx over 2x. And you know that the constant 3 halves here is being multiplied to dx over x. So we can just throw this outside. So we have okay, 3 halves times the integral of dx over x. And we know that the integral of dx over x is ln x. Then we have 3 halves ln x plus c. Another example, say we have integral of 2 dx over 2x plus 1. So to illustrate, so we shall let u be equal to 2x plus 1. And then we know that du is equal to 2 dx. And since we only have dx here, and then we don't want 2 to get along with dx. So what are we going to do is to multiply this by 1 half. So we shall have 1 half du equals dx. So finally, this can now be written of the form one half integral of du over u. And then you know that the integral of du over u is ln u. So we have one half ln u plus c. And then writing it back to the original variable, then you have one half ln of 2x plus 1 plus c. Okay, another one. Say we have integral of dx over 1 minus 2x. Similarly, we can just let u be equal to 1 minus 2x. And then we can say that du equals negative 2 dx. That's the derivative of 1 minus 2x. And you know that this is dx alone. So we can just have negative 1 half du equals dx. So finally, this can be written of the form negative 1 half integral of du over u. And then we have negative 1 half. You know that the integral of du over u from our formula is equal to ln u plus c. And then finally, writing this back to the original variable, then we have negative 1 half ln of 1 minus 2x plus c. What did you observe now is that when you differentiate the denominator, you have to make sure that somewhat its derivative can be found on the numerator. And in that case, that will give us an ln function. Okay. So with the result of our example 1 and 2, then we can just easily say that the integral of dx over 6x minus 7 you know that the derivative of 6x minus 7 is equal to 6dx. So we already have dx here. So what we need to do is we just get the reciprocal of 6. So you have 1, 6, and then you just affix ln of 6x minus 7, and then you add c. Another one. So you have 3dx all over 2x plus 3. And then we just keep this 3. Okay, you can just throw it outside and then you can have the derivative of 2x plus 3, which is equal to 2 dx. And then since you already have dx here, then you just get the reciprocal of 2. That's 1 half multiplied it to 3. So you have 3 halves and then you just simply affix ln of 2x plus 3 plus c. Another one. <clears throat> This time, we have integral of dx all over 1 half minus 4 third x. And you know that the derivative of 1 half minus 4 third x is equal to negative 4 third dx. And then on the numerator, you only have dx. So you just get the reciprocal of negative 4 thirds. And that will lead you to negative 3 fourths. And then you just simply affix ln of 1 half minus 1 4 third x plus c. Another example, 
So you have integral of secant squared x dx all over tangent x. And you know that the derivative of tangent x is equal to secant squared x dx and which can be found on the numerator. Then clearly this is equal to ln of tangent of x plus c. Another example is that we have yeah, integral of e to the 2x dx all over 3 minus e to the 2x. Here you can let u be equal to 3 minus e to the 2x. And you know that du is equal to negative 2e to the 2x and then simply dx. And then here we have e to the 2x dx. So we don't want negative 2 on the right side. So you just multiply it by negative 1 half. So negative 1 half du is positive e to the 2x dx. So clearly this can be written as integral of negative 1 half e to the 2x dx is our du all over u and this is equal to negative one half ln of u plus c and eventually you replace u by three minus e to the two x and finally you have one half negative ln of three minus e to the two x plus c. Okay, number eight. <clears throat> So integral of x dx all over x squared minus 5. So you now say that u equals x squared minus 5 and that du equals 2x dx. Unfortunately, this is only x dx, so you don't want 2 here. So you can just multiply it by 1 half. 1 half du equals x dx. And then we change the variable here. So we can just say that the integral of x dx over x squared minus 5 equals, remember that x dx, that is our 1 half du. So 1 half du all over x squared minus 5 is our u. That's du over u. And then eventually, you know that the integral of du, du over u is equal to ln u, then multiplied by 1 half. And writing it back to the original variable, we say that the integral of x dx all over x squared minus 5 is 1 half ln x squared minus 5 plus c. Number 9. Okay, so another modification of the, the given is that we have now integral of x cubed dx all over 3x to the 4 minus 5. Doing the same process by change of variable, we can let u be equal to 3x to the 4 minus 5. And then clearly, we say that du is 12. That's 4 times 3, 12x cubed dx. Looking back at our given, you only have x cubed dx here. So you don't need 12 here. So that's you multiply it by 1 over 12. So you shall have 1 over 12 du equals x cubed dx. And then by change of variable, you can now say that the integral of x cubed dx over 3x to the 4 minus 5 equals 1 over 12 d over u. And then integrating, you have 1 over 12 ln u. Writing back to the original variable, you have 1 over 12 ln of 3x to the 4 minus 5 plus c. Say number 10. We have the integral of ln x dx over x. And we can say that u equals ln x and we know that du equals dx over x. By change of variable, we shall have, you know that this ln x is our u, okay? And then this dx over x will go together and to represent du. So we shall now have integral of ln x dx over x is integral of u du. And finally, integrating by power formula, u squared over 2 plus c, and then writing it back to the original variable, you have 1 half ln squared x plus c. Okay. So what if this ln x can be found on the denominator? So we have integral of dx all over x ln x. And doing the same, we shall let u be equal to ln x and du is dx over x. So finally, the, by change of variable, the integral of dx over x ln x can be written as integral of du over u. One more, this is dx over x and that is our du and this ln x is our u. So you have integral of du over u and we shall now have Integral of du over u is ln u plus c and writing it back to the original variable, you know that this ln u is ln x and then finally we have ln of ln x plus c. And then number 12. <clears throat> Say we have integral of 2y cubed plus 3y all over y squared minus 3 dy. So... Looking at our given, you know that we don't want the numerator to be 2y cubed plus 3y because you know that when u 
is equal to y squared minus 3 du is equal to 2y dy. So we want only the numerator to be 2y dy. Unfortunately, this is 2y cubed plus 3y. So, so for this particular example, I'll be showing you three uh, methods or three solutions for this type of integral. So the first one is I will be uh, expressing 2y cubed plus 3y over y squared minus 3 as a sum of two fraction. And that will be integral of 2y cubed over y squared minus 3 dy by applying distributive property of division over addition. This y squared minus 3 will be distributed each term on the numerator. So we shall have integral of 2y cubed over y squared minus 3 dy plus 3y all over y squared minus 3 dy. So what are we going to do next is we shall break this, I mean, factor this y cube, factor out y cube, and that is equal to y squared times 2y dy. Because you know that the derivative of y squared minus 3 is 2y dy. So eventually, you can now let u be equal to y squared minus 3, and then you know that du is 2y dy. And we already have 2y dy here. Okay, unfortunately, this is equal to 3y, but this is already integrable of the form integral of du over u. So we shall have, for, for the second term, this is equal to 3 integral of y dy all over y squared minus 3. And this is equal to 3 times 1 half, okay, that's 3 halves, integral of du over u. And then eventually, we shall now have <clears throat> y squared, and that is equal to u plus 3. From, from, this expression, from this equation, u equals y squared minus 3, and then y squared is equal to u plus 3. And then eventually, we shall now have this y squared, okay, is equal to u plus 3, then y squared minus 3 is our u, and then 2y dy is our du. And then for the second term, this is equal to three halves ln of y squared minus three and then plus c. And then to simplify the first part, so we just use distributive property of division over addition. You just introduce u each term on the numerator. So we shall have integral of u over u is one and then three over u du. Then you just copy this uh, three halves ln of y squared minus three plus c. And then integrating the first part, <clears throat> so you have 1 du is u, and then the integral of 3 over u du is 3 ln u. And then you copy again the second term. Okay, And then writing this back to the original variable, you know that u is equal to y squared minus 3. Then this will now become u y squared minus 3 plus 3 ln of u, that's y squared minus 3. And then you copy it again, 3 halves <clears throat> plus ln of y squared minus 3 plus c. And then you know that this is constant minus 3. And then you can add it to the constant c here. That will lead you to another constant. And this 3 ln y squared minus 3 shall be added to 3 halves ln of y squared minus 3, leading us with y squared, then 3 plus 3 halves, that's 9 over 2. Okay, And then ln of y squared minus 3. And then this negative 3 and positive c is equal to another constant c. So we have y squared plus 9 over 2 ln of y squared minus 3 plus c. Okay. Another method to, to find the integral of this function is that we shall uh, factor out y on the numerator, leading us with 2y squared plus 3, then times y dy all over y squared minus 3. We do it in, by, by purpose, because we know that the derivative of y squared minus 3 is 2y dy. So we shall have y dy here. And then we shall now let u be equal to y squared minus 3. And you know that du is 2y dy. And since we only have y dy here, we just multiply this by 1 half. So we have 1 half du equals y dy. And then again, this y squared shall be obtained from this equation, and you know that y squared is equal to u plus 3 since u equals y squared minus 3. And then again, by change of variable, we can now say that 2y squared plus 3, that's 2, then y squared is u plus 3, and then plus 3, 
And then y dy, this y dy is one half du. That's one half du all over this y squared minus three is u. And then simplifying this part, we shall now have, okay, so you just introduce two each term inside. So you have two times u is two u, then two times three is six plus three, that will give you nine over u du. And then we have one half in front. And then again, by applying distributive property of division over addition, we shall have one half times the integral of 2u over u is 2, then 9 over u d, du. So you have the 1 half times the integral of 2 plus 9 over u du. Integrating, we shall have, you know that the integral of 2 du is 2u, and then the integral of 9 over u du is 9 ln of u, and then you add c. Do not forget to write 1 half in front. And then simplifying, you just distribute 1 half each term on inside the parentheses, and then you just replace u by the original variable y squared minus 3. So you shall now have 1 half times 2, that's 1. And then u is replaced by y squared minus 3. So you have y squared minus 3. Then 1 half times 9, that's 9 halves. Okay. And then ln of, then u is y squared minus 3 and then plus c. And then again, this minus 3 and plus c shall be added. And that led us to y squared plus 9 over 2 ln of y squared minus 3 plus c. And I think this is similar to the uh, answer that we obtain by applying the first technique. Okay, another method that we can apply here is that you know that the degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator. So we can divide the numerator by the denominator. So dividing it, we have 2y cubed divided by y squared is 2y. And then 2y times y squared is 2y cubed. Then 2y times negative 3 is 6, negative 6y. Then subtracting, you have 2y cubed minus 2y cubed is 0. Then 3y minus 6y minus negative 6y is positive 9y. And then we can now rewrite this as quotient plus remainder over divisor. So we shall have integral of 2y. This is the quotient plus the remainder, that's 9y over the divisor, which is y squared minus 3. And then we shall now use the general formula for integral of sums. So you'll have integral of 2y dy plus integral of 9y dy all over y squared minus 3. And you know that the integral of 2y dy is equal to y squared, okay? And you know that the integral of 9y over y squared minus 3 dy is 9 over 2 ln of y squared minus 3 plus c. And again, we obtain similar answer from the uh, first two methods. And another one. I think this will be the last example. So you have integral of y plus 4 all over y minus 2 dy. And you notice that, again, the degree of the numerator is equal to the degree of the denominator. So we can simply divide the numerator by the denominator. And then you have y divided by y is 1. 1 times y is y. 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. And then you subtract. So you have y minus y is 0. And then 4 minus negative 2 is 6. So we shall now rewrite this integrand as the integral of 1, that's the quotient, and then 6, that's the remainder, all over y minus 2. And then simply, this is equal to integral of 1 dy is y, and then you know that the integral of 6 dy over y minus 2 is 6 ln of y minus 2 plus c.